we're learning more about the impact women have right here in our community. Today, women show their support at an event featuring women-owned businesses. And tonight, KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim shows us the obstacles business owners have to overcome to get to this point. I started the business in 2020 during the pandemic, and so it's been quite the journey. When life gave her lemons, Jennifer Agnew made a boozy lemonade. My original business plan was to scale and sell to bars, to have pop-ups at people's houses. None of that could happen, and so my pivot was to make the cocktail kits. Quarantine orders made it difficult to launch her company in person, but a strong network of women-owned businesses gave her an outlet to network and gain momentum. I started doing doing pop-ups with the Strawberry Swing. I joined Innovator um, to connect with other women in business. She now turns to guidance from other working women when facing industry challenges and gender inequality. We definitely still have a ways to go. But knowing she's paving the way for others creates the motivation to keep going. Having women present and active and as a leadership role is so important for our little ones coming up. For Cynthia Fails, her decision to launch a publishing business came from a desire to close an existing profit gap within the industry, especially for minority writers. Historically speaking, we've been left out uh, by the traditional gatekeepers that exist within the publishing industry. She's hoping to teach young writers how to open up those gates and empower them to reap the benefits of their own hard work. I asked her why women deserve a seat at the table and what her biggest advice would be to young minority women hoping to walk in her footsteps. We have not only the passion to create change, but the drive to see it done correctly. Find a network of support who's willing to lift you as you climb. The number of women-owned businesses continue to grow, but according to the U.S. Small Business Administration, women are still underrepresented in the market. They make up only 21 percent of employer businesses. Customer Joy Broyles wants to play a part in changing those statistics. It's hard as a woman to own your own business, and I hope it's some point it will get easier, but I want to be able to support. Jian Kim, KSHB 41 News.